Hello everyone, welcome to Online Safety with Mr. Knowlton. My name is Mr. Knowlton, I am the Computing Lead at Demonstrator Primary School and today's video is going to be about Among Us. So first of all let's talk about what Among Us actually is. Among Us is a video game that came out last year. It first came out on Apple, Android and PC and was instantly quite popular. Um, it is quite unique, we'll go over how the game actually works in a second. Um, and then later on it came out on both Xbox and Switch. The only console it's not on is uh, PlayStation. Uh, it has been out for over a year now. It is popular on Twitter, Twitch. It's popular on YouTube. And this is primarily how it's become such an overplayed game as it has. Um, it is primarily online. So playing with random strangers. You can play with your friends online. You can also play locally. Which means with people in your house or your friends only. Um, we'll go through how to do that a little later on. Uh, so the idea of the game is you're a bunch of cartoon spacemen and you are on a spaceship and your job is to fix and carry out tasks on a spaceship. But one of you is an imposter and you've got to try and get rid of the other people on the spaceship without being found out. Um, it, that's what kind of makes the interesting part of the game because no one knows who the imposter is. And obviously there's a lot of back and forth on who it might be, who it might not be. And then discovering at the end who is the winner. So I want to talk about the popularity of the game because this is kind of um, a secondary about the game really. So yeah, there are people playing it online, but one of the reasons why the game has become more popular, as I said before, it is really popular on YouTube and then a streaming service called Twitch. Um, and as its popularity has increased, all the influencers and gaming uh, people on YouTube and Twitch have obviously then jumped on the bandwagon. And they're now also constantly putting videos out and streaming and so on of uh, Among Us. And this is how uh, a lot of the children are getting into it because they're seeing how popular it is online. And just like Fortnite, the more popular a game is, the more children want to play it, whether they're interested or not in the first place. So that is one of the problems. So it's not just that children are playing it, but also that they might be spending a lot of time watching it as well. Um, currently, the game is probably the most popular game out there. Obviously, Fortnite is still a big thing, but... Um, Among Us in the last year has been what a lot of people have been playing and talking about. It's got millions of people playing it already. Now the age, ra the age rating is an interesting one. If you haven't seen my video on age ratings, I, I would recommend going watching it on the YouTube playlist for Devonshire Road. Um, when I did my research on the age rating for this game, I was actually surprised to discover that it was rated something else previously. This doesn't tend to happen in video games very often. So when it first came out, because it was such a small indie title, indie meaning made by a small team, um, it was actually put as a 16, uh, partly because it's online, but also partly, even though it's cartoon based, some of the imagery is quite violent. Um, so, But then when it became more popular and released on more systems, it was actually reduced to a 7, which I find very peculiar, because most online platforms like Fortnite and so on are usually a 12, uh, because you can communicate with people online. Um, and you are able to talk to people in this game online, so I'm surprised it's only a 7. On the Apple Store, it is a 9. In my opinion, it should be on the same as Fortnite, it should be a 12. Any game where you're able to talk to strangers online should automatically be a 12. So I wanted to talk about the mild violence in the game. So as I said previously, this, the graphics are in a style of cartoon, they're quite 16-bit pixel art. Um, so in that sense, the, it's not realistic. But then the issue is, and the issue isn't with most of the game, most of the game is fine, you're doing your tasks, nothing really happens, you don't really see much, you just get on with your tasks and so on. But the moment one player eliminates another one, they're then presented with a very graphic image of how they've been eliminated from the game. And it's these images that I think are quite inappropriate. Not necessarily because of the blood or gore, but because of what they're actually depicting. I think they're quite inappropriate for children. And it's not like there's one or two images. There's quite a variety of different images that are quite inappropriate for children. And because children like to act or play the games or the TV that they're watching, um, I don't necessarily think this is something appropriate for young children to be acting out or playing. And there might also be other children who feel uncomfortable with this kind of content and therefore would get quite upset. One of the other things that's in... Uh, most online games these days is online tra transactions. So the game is uh, very cheap. It's only a couple of quid. Um, but within that, there is uh, a wealth of small online transactions. 
So most of the, all the transactions are to just dress up your character, your avatar. They're all very low price, which unfortunately makes them quite enticing. You know, spending a quid, spending a pound or two doesn't seem like very much, but obviously that adds up over time. Um, but you please can you be careful with your any credit cards or debit cards that are attached to any consoles, mobile apps, and so on, because you don't want your children buying stuff without you noticing. So... Uh, with all online games, there are a wealth of online related issues. So we're going to go through these next. We've got inappropriate chat, stranger danger, hiding your identity and friend requests. So first of all, because one of the main ways of communication within uh, Among Us is being able to type messages to each other. And if you're not playing local Wi-Fi and you're playing online, obviously you want to talk to different strangers. Now, the strangers could be children similar age but they could be teenagers or grown-ups. And obviously when you've got different ages mixing and when they're strangers, there is a lot of inappropriate conversations such as swearing, online bullying, um, racist comments and so forth, which I think is inappropriate for most children um, of any age, especially if they've not usually been exposed to this kind of conversation. Um, the chat usually occurs between the rounds, so when you're actually playing the game, you can't really talk to each other. But once the game ends or before you start a game, then you can you can type messages or you can talk to each other. So the next thing is Stranger Danger. So one of the biggest issues in my Fortnite video that I mentioned, because of its popularity and the fact that it's an online game, it means that there's a lot of children playing it. And unfortunately, there are certain individuals who will go and play these games to access children and to be able to talk to children. So I predict that Among Us will be a similar um, platform where because of its popularity and the wealth of children that might be playing it because of watching YouTube videos and so on like I said previously um, children and parents will need to make sure their children are more careful playing these games uh, because there might be grown-ups who are there solely to talk to children then the other thing I wanted to talk about was identity so uh, I've mentioned it previously in some of my other videos um, just talking to your children about making sure their usernames, their profile picture and so on doesn't reveal any personal information about themselves. Um, Eve, the, sh your, the children's news usernames or your usernames shouldn't have their first, last, middle, age, uh, school, road, anything that would link them to their real life identity. So just make sure you take a minute just to have a check with your children, especially if they're playing on a mobile platform because you just make a random username when you play it. Whereas, place the, uh, whereas Xbox sorry, and Switch will use the username that's already set up on those consoles. One thing I did want to mention is the ability to make private game rooms. So if you are playing uh, on local Wi-Fi or you are playing online, but you only want to, your children to play with their friends, uh, you can set up private game rooms. Um, and the way uh, there's a an option in the game where you can where one person can create the room, you get given a code of letters or numbers, and then you can then send that to your friends, and they can then print that code in, and it'll take you straight to their room. Um, these are a great way if you want to just play with friends only. And finally, as always, I want to end my video with Mr. Norton's advice. Um, number one, please can you make sure you talk to your children, have a conversation with your children about what they're playing and what they're using on their devices. It's really important as parents that we are keeping an open book with what our children are accessing. There's new apps and games coming out all the time and it's sometimes very difficult to keep up with what our children are doing. So just a quick five minute conversation once a week just to keep an eye on what they're up to. Um, spend some time uh, watching or playing what your children's playing or watching just so that you can build your own understanding of what that is they're doing. Um, if you're not into video games yourself, uh, watching your children play them for a few minutes might give you a little bit of understanding about what that video game is or if they want to play a future game then you'll already know a bit more than you did before. Uh, and finally, te please teach your children about strangers. We pass this message very heavily on within school um, and through our Facebook. But please just constantly talk to your children about not accepting friend requests, deleting messages from strangers, and just ignoring anyone that they're not friends with. And if they're worried, please reassure your children to talk to their trusted adult. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, please email the school or ring the school and ask. Um, I'm always happy to help out as much as I can. And thank you for listening.